Sujit, Databricks. Absolutely. Let's We've highlight done. an example that uh, you'd like to shine a light on for us. Yeah, I think maybe um, organizations like Databricks work with pretty much you know, every agency inside the federal government. Mm -hmm. Really, I think the key here is in AI is really the innovation and bringing that from the commercial space into the federal space. So I kind of touched upon this a little bit with speed, accuracy, and cost. And we kind of saw that with the new open source LLM we just released the other day, DBRX. And really where that innovation is happening, um, the speed of it is, is faster than most of the models out there, including GPT-3.5. But the key behind it is we did it in two months and did it with about $10 million of investment across 3,000 GPUs. Normally that would have been 18 months and probably about 10 times the cost on a nine figure order. So that's the speed of magnitude of which we're able to actually impact innovation. So what does this mean though, is from a federal government standpoint or regulated industries, people can actually use that with their own data. So you're not necessarily actually training an external model. Be able to do generative AI type capabilities like RAG and be able to actually do it with your data inside your four walls. So that becomes a big precursor for some of the more advanced use cases that we'll need to see across national security and other public sector uh, use cases.